I will tell you, China has been planning war with the United States for years. This is no surprise. This didn't just happen. This has been happening for years, and presidents just haven't taken it seriously enough. You know, we saw, I'm glad to see they at least sent four ships this time. You know, what I said last time is when the Russian drone, or when the Russian plane hit our U.S. drone, absolutely nothing happened. We haven't seen anything happen from the Biden administration. We need to be showing strength. This is in response to the fact that we and our allies have been doing exercises um, in the Taiwan Strait and over near the South. China Sea. But what they are trying to do is now intimidate us. We don't need to fall for it. We don't need to run. We need to continue to be strong. Biden continues to show weakness. He did that by sending Blinken. China came out and said it was a great meeting. And what came out of that? They said that they would have committee meetings based on the fentanyl flow. No, you don't have committee meetings based on fentanyl flow. You say we will stop ending normal trade relations with you until you stop killing Americans. You know, you've got the fact that then Janet Yellen went and said we should do more business with China, not less. And we should be competitors and we should play by fair rules. That's naive. China doesn't play by fair rules. They never have. They don't see us as a competitor. They see us as an enemy. And then you have John Kerry going and saying, oh, let's focus on the environment. That's really what we need to be focused on. Well, that just makes them laugh at us. And so this is the time where we need a president that's going to say, no, we're not just going to deal with trade like Trump did, or no, we're not just going to ignore it like Obama did. We need to say we're going to look at it from all aspects. Let's stop them buying U.S. soil and let's take back what they've already had. Let's stop the flow of fentanyl. Let's stop the money going into our universities. 90% of our law enforcement drones come from the Chinese. Why is that? How stupid are we to allow things like this to happen? Quit sending technology to China that strengthens their military and weakens the U.S. And let's modernize our military. Let's get focused as a country and go and show these, these countries that are threatening us that we're back. That hasn't happened. That's why Russia's strong. That's why China's on the march. That's why Iran's building a bomb. And that's why North Korea's mm -hmm. testing ballistic missiles.